Okay, in this video, I want to talk uh, for a moment about uh, two types of lines. Uh, we have perpendicular lines and parallel lines. Okay, so parallel lines are just any lines that never intersect. Okay, so a line is, goes in infinite, goes in both directions to infinity, right? It just keeps going. So when we say that two lines are parallel, that means that they will never intersect no matter, no matter how long we extend the line in either direction. So they'll never intersect. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect, but they intersect creating 90 degree angles. So they, they intersect at a 90 degree angle. Okay, so for example, um, we use this symbol for parallel lines, sort of like two little parallel lines slanted. So we use this symbol for, to represent parallel lines. And we use this symbol, like a little upside down T, to represent um, perpendicular. So that's a symbol for being perpendicular. Um, so again, parallel lines are lines that never intersect. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect at right angles. Okay, so if I look at this example here, we can see that in this case, these are two parallel lines, or excuse me, perpendicular lines. Why? Because they intersect and they create a right angle here. So this right angle means that this has to be right angle, and, and this is my reasoning, is if this is a right angle, then all of these are right angles, because if this is 90 degrees, well, then this this line is a straight line, so if this is 90 degrees, then this angle has to add up to add with this angle to equal 180. Well, if this is 90, that means this is 90. Well, if this is 90, that means this one has to be 90 because this is a straight line that has to add up to 180 degrees. And of course, if this is 90, this has to be 90. So if one angle is 90, all four angles have to be 90. So that's why we only put one square here, okay? So these are perpendicular lines. So the way we would say this is we would say, let's say line, so if I said line DE, right? So if I said line DE, okay, is, is perpendicular to line AC, then I would just write this. So I, DE is perpendicular to AC. Okay. Now if they're parallel, then I use the other symbol. Okay. Like for example, if these two lines are parallel, then I would say AB is parallel to CD. Now, with lines, we usually put a little line above it. Okay? So, that's how we distinguish lines. So, this is line DE is perpendicular to line AC. And this is line AB says it's parallel to line CD in this case. And then we can look at figures and we can say, hey, what lines are parallel and what lines are perpendicular? Well, if we look at these, we know these have to be this line segment. So this is a line segment from this vertex to this vertex. So we would say uh, segment CB for example, and for a line segment, we just put a bar, is perpendicular to DC, line segment DC. Okay. But obviously, CB is also perpendicular to AB. Okay, why? Because they form a right angle when they intersect. Now, 
What can we say about DC and AB? Well, if these two are right angles, then this line segment here is parallel to this line segment here. Because if these two are right angles, that means that these two lines will never intersect no matter how far you extend the line. So we would say that these, that DC, line segment DC, is parallel to line segment AB. Okay. Now, if we want to denote that on the figure, we would denote it this way. We would just put an arrow here and an arrow here. And that would tell us vis visibly, that's a symbol that says, okay, these two sides of this figure are parallel. Okay, and how do we know that they're parallel? Because they both form right angles to this same um, line segment, BC. Okay, and that's it. And again, we know that this isn't going to be an obtuse, and this is an acute angle, right? So we can see that. Okay. That's it. Other than that, have a great day, and uh, we'll talk about supplemental and complemental angles next time. Have a good day.